fun. Welcome to Third Eye Visions, where we motivate the blind, stimulate your mind, and anyway, you know the rest. For the for you new uh, subscribers, make sure to hit that notification bell and make sure to hit that little bell that says all or little notifications that says all so that you can get all the notifications that I put out. Um, and make sure to hit the like and share by all means. Mm, mm, mm. See, <clears throat> this is the reason why I posted earlier about people telling their sons and daughters who are visually impaired in this case that you can just do anything. You can you can do anything as a blind person. You can you can do it because <laughs> some of this stuff is just outlandish. And some of this stuff, you know, you probably think, or oh, Anthony, you make you making it up. But here's the deal: I'm gonna put the link in the description so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, it says a blind football player makes big moves. Now, uh, this may be be a bit old, but I have been hearing a lot of people talk about this, and I said, man, let me do some research, and I found out that this is the case. Uh, in Modesto, California, some years ago, maybe one to two years ago, there was a 15-year-old by the name of Jason Bracy. He was a quarterback. He played quarterback on a team called Quarterback One or whatever, and he was totally blind, lost his sight due to uh, cancer, I believe. So he wanted to play football. Now, let that marinate for a second. He wanted to play football. Now, fellas, ladies, people, parents, there's just certain things that you just cannot tell your, uh, you just have to put a control on and stop telling your kids that he can do anything or she can do anything that she wants to do. Certain things, you know, people have dreams of doing after they maybe lost their, their ability to walk or lost their sight or something to the effect. You just can't do it. You just have to sit on the sideline and just, you know, and just at least participate from that aspect. But playing football, that's, he might, she or they might as well tell this blind person or blind people that, hey, you can drive a car. And you probably say, well, yeah, they are, there, there's a way or there's going to be a way in the future, but I would not want to participate, nor would I want to be in the company of a blind person who is driving. Um, I've even, uh, as I, I uh, digress, uh, I've interviewed individuals who still want to hunt. And people might say, well, Anthony, what's wrong with that? But I, I just, certain things, you just have to put it to the side. I just don't trust certain things. But getting back to this football situation, he played quarterback. And the thing of it is, the way he's able to play, his dad has created some con uh, concoction where <laughs> he uh, is able to direct his son by putting a walkie-talkie and a speaker in his helmet tell him, to tell him uh, the directions in terms of where to go and, um, you know, lets him know, I guess, that, that someone is about to hit them. Now, playing football, I mean, I've, I've only played, you know, in the backyard and, you know, tried to play. And, you know, I may be contradicting myself when I said playing football, but no, this guy was actually on a team and it was a, it was a, a unified sport, everything like that. But uh, when you expect to get hit and you can see it, you can make a preparation. But if you can't see anyone coming at you, I mean, I'll be damned. That hit is a surprising thing. You cannot get prepared for it. So, at any rate, he uh, he he he's, he the, the father uh, created this uh, uh, walkie-talkie situation where he's able to guide his his son. And I'm thinking like. You know, suppose the battery goes out one day, then what? And the, and the shit is funny for the simple fact that he had, this guy has no business out there trying to play. And get this, his teammates are, they have the responsibility of trying to line this individual up, make sure he's straight as well as their positions and them knowing what they have to do. So that's just extra work that they have to do. So I'm saying all I to say, man, please, by all means, stop it. Stop telling your, your 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 children that he can do anything or she can do anything that they they want to do regardless if they can see or not. Because there's a situation where you can do things, but then to try to be uh, in in a in a um, situation like a team sport or something that requires a great uh, sight, you know, on a, you know to, to to do this job uh, to the highest you know of of, of, of their ability. They should be able to 
you know, they should be able to see or they have to see, put it like that. So, you know, I just had to uh, come and, and, and let y'all know that that was one of the reasons along with a lot of other um, reasons because I had this in my uh, crawl and I wanted to talk about it then, but I just had to wait. That I want to show why these parents should not do this to these individuals, man. They can really get hurt. They really could get hurt. So just tell them the truth. And look, baby, uh, I don't think dad, I don't think this would be a good idea. You know, dad understands that you want to play, but hey, let's find another way. Maybe, you know, get on the sidelines and, and help out in, in, in other capacity, but to actually get out there and play football. I mean, that, I was really, <laughs> it, it, was, it made me laugh. So, you know, just wanted to let y'all know what y'all think about that. Mm.